Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and I am back with a new Sport Mode 2 million credit guide to help you get them credits as easily and as quickly as possible and I think this week might just be one of the easiest combos we've ever had in terms of the percentage of people that are going to achieve the gold. I think it even might be easier than the, the BB Raceway we've just had. So this is going to be an interesting one. You can use any car you want in Group 3, which makes it even easier because it's just down to what car you enjoy driving. And normally, everyone will have a certain car that they can find lap time in a little bit easier than other cars. I decided to do this in the BMW because I actually really enjoy driving the BMW. It's a little bit sketchy on power, but it's a fun car to drive. So to take part in this event, go into sport mode in the top right corner and simply click on that and you'll be greeted with the online time trial menu. From there, you click that, you'll be greeted with two. You've got the BB Raceway one that we've already got a guide for on the channel, which you can get 2 million credits for within 32 seconds. So get on that now and get yourself that if you haven't done that. It's quite an easy one to do as well. But this week we are at Lego Majeure, the really short version of the track, the new layout for GT7. And you can see the current time is 52.4, 53.4 for silver, 56.0 for bronze. That's gonna obviously go quicker as the weeks go as a week goes on, but it's not gonna go massively quicker because this is a short track. I managed to get myself into P3 in the world, so you can chase my ghost from the um leaderboard when you're in the session so if you want to use a reference use my reference there in the bmw like i say there's so many different cars on this leaderboard you go with what car you want the super is probably going to be very strong here because of the power sections however the m6 feels really nice in the corner just got to be a little bit careful on the throttle in certain areas but yeah let's start this guide and help you get them credits so going into turn one we are going to be looking for the marshals board on the left as we go past that we're going to look at the 50 board and we're going to break just before the 50 board there you can see onto the brakes and we want to get this car into this apex you can see the right hand tire almost wants to hit the curb there just hitting the curb and then onto the power just as you feel that grip building and let the left hand tire go out to the edge of the curb now you're going to get on the brakes before the end of that left curb that you can see highlighted with the yellow circle and you're going to try and get this car rotated into the curb on the right using some of the curb on the right then back onto the throttle and power your way out again this point as long as your right hand tire stays on the right hand side of the white line you shouldn't get a penalty so you can actually use a lot of the track on the left there now powering our way down into this very tricky left hand corner you're going to break just before this little um, yellow, you got the yellow flag board on the right hand side there. You can see that on the right hand side, but breaking just before that. Now you can get this left hand tire all the way over the curb on this corner. So keep an eye on this now. As we go through here, look how much of the curb we're gonna use. Really taking advantage of that extra bit of track that we can cut across. Right hand tire actually over the white line. That seems to be the curb as the limit rather than the white line. And a little dab of power here to try and help rotate the car to the left. You can see how it kicks to the left. And then we're gonna break before the end of the curb on the left hand side way before that you can see onto the brakes now this is all about getting it down into first gear slowing the car down being patient up to second gear then being very patient on that throttle you can see 50 percent throttle then 100 percent throttle let the car go to the edge of the track a little bit of a poor exit there could have gained at least a tenth on that exit there i think but overall not too bad now into the really fast corner here which is about getting as much speed through this banked corner as possible there's a little bit of yellow on the right hand side that you can use as a reference for your braking you can see pretty much braking dead level with that i don't use that i do it by a visual reference into this corner and now it down into second gear then we're going to go back up to third gear before we get onto the curb you can see up into third gear and we're on the throttle before we're actually onto the apex of the corner because we're going to accelerate out this corner as much as possible you can see i do not lift off that throttle that is the key to that corner getting onto that front and staying on it all the way up this hill to maximize your acceleration all the way up here now this is completely flat out so just use your left hand tire on the white bit of curb there again right hand tire swinging it back over to the right hand side get up onto the curb then up into fifth gear before you go over that curb to let the car accelerate all the way over the line and we go over for a 51-0. So a reasonably good lap. It's not the best lap you're going to see, probably, but it's a solid lap. Now, we've got the chase camera with the kilometers now, so you can check that out for people that are using the different speeds at full speed. Now, and again, you can see, look how much of the track we're using all the way out to the full width over the curb on the right-hand side. And look at the limits here. As long as that right-hand tire stays on the right-hand side of the curb, the white line, you're okay. Again, down here, you can see the right-hand tire is actually going to go over the white line. Look at that. Over the white line, no penalty. You can get away with that there. Now, this corner is all about feeling the traction. You've got to wait for that traction to build before being 100% confident with the 100% throttle. But once you get the hang of that corner, you can really gain a lot of time. Now, this corner, possibly the most important corner on the lap for getting that really fast time because you've got to keep that throttle nailed and use all the curb. I absolutely nailed that. I did that 
pretty well there and um, probably got near enough maximum what I could get out of that. So the M6 does feel really good on that corner. However, it is a little bit tricky sometimes that it will snap on third gear. So just be cautious with it. Remember, every car is pretty much going to be identical braking zones to this car around here. It's a short track. You're not getting stupidly high speed. So your braking references are all going to be almost identical for this track. So you can use whatever car you want. You're on racing medium tires. And I think that the majority of you are going to manage to get this gold round here because you've got a decent amount of time to get it within and not many car corners to lose time and we're on racing medium tires which are quite grippy so good luck with this get them two million credits let me know in the comment section if you got it if you think you're going to get it and yeah let me know if this track guide has helped you out i love doing these guides so thank you so much for watching i'll be back with more of these in the future bye everyone